The 800 meter final for the women. On your mat. That was a good start for the final. Away we go then, two laps of the track. Big favorite here is Katrina Bissett. If she doesn't win this, then it will be a major surprise. This is set a world leading time in uh, April, at the, uh, winning the university championships, the Australian ones that is, in 159.78. Set her up beautifully for this year, and it's uh, really put her into the running as well for the world championships at the end of September. Very late for the world championships this year. It makes it very difficult to peak because the summer is so long. At the moment, though, it is Dukas Ajok, the Ugandan, who is leading them out, but the two Australians right there with her. No surprise to see the short hair of the favourite. Bissett right on her shoulder in the perfect position. Morgan Mitchell just a slight further back, two women between her and the front two. They reach the bell in a very swift 59 seconds. They've taken this out a lot quicker than the men took out the 1500 meters, that's for sure, in relative terms. Ajok now put under pressure. Brissett beginning now to get impatient. She's still there though. She knows she's got the speed, but she's got to watch out because Herring of Germany is trying to come round the outside of her. The big, tall German now takes it on, and Bissett has gone backwards and just got clipped a little bit there. She comes round Ajok. Ajok also gets a little bit clipped, this classic 800 meter running. Here comes Bissett there, lengthening her stride. She might be the shorter of those two athletes, but she's still going. West away of Canada now making her move. Ajok going back as well. They're all jostling for position. Bissett coming away though. The favorite for gold is delivering. They're not getting lost completely behind her, but Bissett will come away to take the gold medal for Australia. Bissett takes gold. Herring takes the silver for Germany, and Ozak Ozak picks up another minor medal in bronze. 2:01:2. That's very fast. Good time here at the University Games. But again, Bissett can go faster than that. She's done it already this season. It was back in April. And being Australian, she has the challenge of having to go through the Australian summer season and then transfer that into the Northern Hemisphere summer season. And that Northern Hemisphere season has been extended even further for the first time. Even the uh, Diamond League finishes before the World Championships this year. Well, Bissett, uh, she uh, allowed the others to go off fast in front of her but the fourth fastest australian ever to run this 800 meters event qualifying her for the world championships in one race just bided her time had to get over a little bumping and boring going around the back straight and the bend of that second lap and the woman who recently won the oceania championships just before coming over here took that in Townsville, which is a good one and a half thousand kilometers up the Queensland coast from the Gold Coast that hosted the Commonwealth Games last year. She beat Angie Petty, a former university ad champion, incidentally, to take that crown. Morgan Mitchell, too, was in that race. Morgan Mitchell unable to medal this time around. But the big favorite in the women's 800 meters, Julie delivers. Brilliant running. Gold medal for Australia, Katrina Bissett in 2102 from Christina Herring of Germany, just behind her, and Dukas Ajok, the perennial medalist at the World University Games, picking up the bronze.